Okay, so I'm here with my good friend and uh, Max to list off our favourite uh, oh, Pokemon from our least favourite generations. My least favourite generation is Generation 5, Max's is Generation 4. Um, and just to start off, we are going to give some honourable mentions on Pokemon we think had good ideas but were poorly executed design-wise in one way or another. Do you want to start with your honourable mentions, or should I? Uh, I'll start with mine. Okay. Right. Um, mine are Bronzor and Bronzong, mainly because if you don't know what they're actually based on, which is very rare, mm. then you'll just think they're just random pieces of metal. Um... Togekiss, it wasn't much of a design update from Togetic. It was just like bigger wings, and that was pretty much it. Man, that is pretty much how evolution works. Yeah, but it was rather boring design wise. Yeah. I still love um, Togekiss, um, though. Licky Licky. Yeah. Given, the, given what they had to work with with Licky Tongue, it wasn't the worst, but yeah. there wasn't much else you could have done. Yeah. Um, mine is. So the first one is Chiron. I like the idea of a Pokemon fusing with another Pokemon to make a third Pokemon, and I think they ins executed it quite well with Necrozma in Ultras and an Ultra Moon. Um, but I don't like Chiron's base form design. It's not bad, but it's just not much. It's like vanilla ice cream. It's not bad, but it's not as good as like bubblegum ice cream or cookie dough ice cream. Um, like vanilla. <laughs> vanilla is nice, but it's, it's just not as good as most other flavors. It's just a bit bland and plain, which is uh, which is ironic because it's supposed to be like the middle. It's supposed to be like dead middle, um, but when it changes it changes into its uh, black and white form, by God, did the design go down the drain quickly? Like. It just, That's where we differ on that. So the the, the black and white designs just got ho were just horrible, and then its appearance in the movies by Jeez in, in the Social Justice movie that that just makes me angry. Zekrom and Reshiram, not overall bad. My main thing I'm t I don't like is that they both have generator bots. Also, the fact that the whole black and white. Truth versus ideals thing was more of a gimmick than anything else in Generation Five. To try and sound deep and complex. Better than Gen Four story. At least, at least Gen Four didn't to try to be something it's not. No, it just dropped off halfway through. Yeah, it did a bit. Like I, will, I have always said that the the main. Uh, Floor with Gen 4 is uh, in Diamond and Pearl, the plot was a bit bad. Um, here's something we both agree on the Simmies and the Pans. Kill them with the uh, corresponding types. Because they are god awful. I honestly like them. It's just. They could have made them better. Mm. Victini. Now, Victini, its design isn't bad. And it could have, and it could have avoided this list, and maybe have even made it into the top ten uh, list, top, probably not can get number ten out. But here's the thing: most of its events, you can't even get its signature move, especially in Generation Five, its debut generation. Not only that, but its movie was boring AF. Like, Again, I've only seen one version of that film, and I've seen the um, Pokemon White, the movie. It, it, they're both literally the exact same movie, except they switch Reshi Rab and Zekrom out. And they switch the shiny around that's in there. Yeah, and the shiny. That's literally the only difference, and the movies were just boring. Like, it, if you could reliably get this Pokemon in the games, with its, a bit, with its signature move, sorry, and the movie was good, then this would have definitely made it into the top 10 list, because I do like the idea of a victory Pokemon. But, and they could have made it like, um, it was born out of um, Pokemon and humans' desire for victory. The thing is with Victini though, it's typing 
Doesn't make sense. Why is it fire type? Burning passion. Is that literally it, based on a pun? Yes! Oh, great. <laughs> anyway, um, on pheasant, I like the idea of sexual dimorphism in Pokemon, but they really don't do much with it with on pheasant. Like, I like the uh, how the male is all flashy and show offy like he is in real life, but that's really just it. It's just a. It's just. It's as important. It's as impactful as changing the skin in Smash Bros. And I really think they could have done more with that. Like, maybe make the male more offensive based while the female more defensive based. Because, like, female birds would stay in the nest and feed the young and protect the nest while the males would go out to hunting for food. They kind of like what they did with Meow Stick, but the opposite way around. Yeah. They could have done that and it would have been really interesting, but they just didn't. Heatmore and Dorant. I like the idea of like Heatmore like being the um, predator to Dorant. But Dorant is better than Heatmore! Like in a one-on-one -on -one battle. Dorant would probably win. The, th the thing with Dorant is, though, I don't understand, like, its lore and stuff. It was a pure bug originally, but then it made a steel armor to make to protect itself against Heatmore, which made it worse. Yeah. So, yeah. I, like I said, I like the idea of having um, two Pokemon specifically feeding them around, like, Hunter and Prey, like, um... Zangoose and Ar Arbok are themed around like being competi competitors in uh, the wild. And I know you love Zangoose. Well, yes. Zangoose is great. <laughs> um, and the, the, yeah, so they could have had a Zangoose Ar Arbok kind of relationship here, but it just it doesn't survived win. The Arbok. It just, yeah, it just fell flat on its face. Anyway. Right. Uh, I'm going to start off with my top 10 because you started off with your um, thing. So we're going to go, I'm going to go 10, you're going to go 10, and I'm going to go take turns going down the list. My number 10 is Genesect. Um, and, oh, sorry, I want to mention quickly, 10 to 5 could pretty much be, are all pretty much interchangeable because they're all pretty much, I like the design or the ideas behind the design. Um... And with Genesect, I like the idea of like Team Plasma taking this Pokemon and making it like the ultimate uh, fighting machine or something. Um, so yeah, just I like the idea behind that. Um, similar with yours, um, ten to seven with mine could be in any order, mm. but because they were ones that I had to, you know, they were just ones I couldn't think of. Um, number ten is a bomber snow. Um, yeah. It's quite. It's got a very interesting design, yeah. but it wasn't executed amazingly. But it still works as a Pokemon. Yeah. And yes, they could. I I do hope they expand on this idea again at some point, like other tr ice like tree things, not identically as a bomber snow, but yeah, I hope they do. Like a different type of trees. Version. Yeah, a different tree or a better version of a bomber snow. Yeah. My number nine is Saw's book. Um, again, I like the whole idea behind it changing forms depending on the season, and some of the forms do the Jimmy look really nice. Um, number nine, Torterra. It's my favourite starter since Venusaur. Yeah. Um, its typing is a bit off, but it works in conjunction with the rest of the starters. Mm. It so it's it's all round like great, and it's useful against both starters and a lot of time yeah. through the game. And it works with its um, design inspiration that the. Uh... Um, world turtle, or whatever it's called. Is that true? Is that too as well? Yeah, but that's not really something that people think about when they just look at the thing. Yeah, but still a really good inspiration for the design. Yeah. 
Okay then, my number eight is Bishop. Again, I like the design and I just think the idea of a um, chess, you know, bit-based uh, Pokemon is quite cool because I do actually like to play chess myself. I only wish they took this further and had like a um, King Sharp or Queen Sharp or Rook Sharp or something like that. You know, take this at least yeah, one step further. The third evolution would have made it better. Yeah. My number eight is Honchcrow. Yeah. Only because it expanded on a, a Pokemon that needed to be eradicated. I hate Murkrow. So having Honchcrow there as a, as a fail safe for me to not have Murkrow mm. makes it one of my favourite top yeah. One of my favourite Pokemon to use against you is Mimikyu because you hate Mimikyu. But one of my other favourite Pokemon to use against you is Murkrow because it's good with Eviolite. And, and I just hate Murkrow. Yeah. Not not because of our battles. It's just other reasons. I just don't yeah. Like you don't. Those. You just don't like it. Society. I, I, and and I, 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 that's the one thing you hate about. Really, genuinely hate about Gen Five is the fact that it, because of Gen 5's Eviolite, Murkrow can actually be used in battle. Yes, it does mean that I have to see more Murkrow, and that's a horrible thing. Yeah. Well, which one would you rather have? Gen Five uh, be completely wiped up from the Pokemon history books, or have to deal with a lot of Murkrow? Honestly, having to deal with a lot of Murkrow. Yeah. Because a lot of my favourite Pokemon are Gen 5. Yeah. Anyway, um, my number 7 is Haxorus. Now, Haxorus has, does have a really cool design, and its space desert is actually better than Garchomp. The only reason why it's not competitively better is because of its lack of dual typing, which can be a curse and a blessing in some cases. Uh, a curse because you're not having that coverage, but a blessing because you're not four times weak to ice. Um, I thought Hexorus had the same base stat total as most starters. Uh, no, I think it's actually better than Garchomp. Uh, no, I think it's got 570. Oh yeah, they stat total, but I mean, where the stats can, I mean, you're not going to want a lot of special attack on Haxorus, are you? Well, no. I think you, you, could, know, you could potentially run a, a special Garchomp, though. Yeah, but I'm just saying, it has better stats than Garchomp. Yeah, well, they need it, yeah. Yeah. Um, but it's lack of dual typing holds it back from actually being competitively useful. And here's something they really could have done in the anime, which, which I think would have really made the anime better and have made one of the most hated characters in the Gen 5 anime likeable. Have Iris start off like meek and timid with her actually like maybe even afraid of dragon types um, and then you know just over the progression of the anime become like more um, you know brave and uh, the confident along with her actually growing up into a Haxorus. <laughs> Could have worked. Yeah, and don't give her uh, the, the the catchphrase of the uh, guy from the last generation that we weren't even supposed to like. To be fair, she is pretty much a carbon clone of Misty. Yeah, just black. And I didn't like Misty, but she's a I black didn't really like Misty. Misty. But Iris was okay, maybe because it's Gen Five. Mm. Uh, but but ca the catchphrase was just annoying. And I think that could have just, if they had done that, I think that would have made her a lot more likeable. Mm. So what's your number seven? Mime Junior. Because it's a pre-evolution to Mr. Mime, who, and you do like Mr. Mime. Yes, and I honestly think that Mr. Mime is one of the cutest baby Pokemon that we've had you so mean, far. Mime Junior. You know what I mean. Yeah. Uh, Mime Junior is one of the cutest babies we've had so far. Yeah. Maybe one or two outdo it, but Mr. Mime Jr. is the best. Especially in the anime, Mime Jr. was quite cute in the anime. Because James had a Mime Jr. And James is my favourite character, so... Yeah. Um, my number six is Hydreigon. I like the idea of a Hydra Dragon Pokemon. It's... But it's... Uh, 
um, how they executed it is a little bit lacking. Like, it's not bad, but they could have done better with a Hydra Dragon Pokemon. Yeah, it's true. Number six. Frost Rotom. Because you love ice types. It's, it's not that. I just think it's it's got my favourite design of, the, of all of them. Yeah. I do kind of like Mo Rotom, but the other ones are just bland for me. Hmm. So... First Rotom, first Rotom being my favourite, and then Mo Rotom, and then the others are just like there. Yeah. Number five, and this is remember this is the last one of these that could be pretty much interchangeable. Zorak. I do like its design. The only problem with it is the ability. Especially with the introduction of, um, which was introduced in Gen 5, ironically, the introduction of being able to see your opponent's team before the battle really hindered it. Now, if Zorak was implemented in Generation 4, where you did not see your opponent's team beforehand, then Zorak, I think Zorak would have been a lot more useful and a lot more seen in competitive Pokemon. Mm. Maybe not though, because his defenses aren't great. Yeah, but that doesn't really matter if you're like disguising it as like a psychic type, uh, sorry, a um, poison type, and then somebody uses a psychic type move on you. The defenses aren't really going to matter there, then, are they? The thing is, now that with Zorak out, if you see a psychic type, or a poison, I say a poison type, I would more likely be using a ground move than a psychic move. Just be on the off chance that it could be Zoroark. Yeah, I'm just saying that's just um, one one like matchup I got that like, well, apart off the top of my head. Um, there's pro there's uh, probably a bunch of other typings you could do, but I'm just saying if it wasn't introduced in the generation where we had team previews, then it would have been a lot better. Yeah. My number five. Moth him. I, I forgot think... that was a Gen 4 Pokemon. <laughs> I think Mothim's design is really good. It's a much better design than Dustox and Venomoth before it. Mainly because it's more vibrant and you can tell that it's like a moth. Yeah. And it's it's just really cool. Um, it's much better than Wormadam though, because Wormadam is just like an extension to Burmy. It's like it's yeah. just Burmy's just like grew yeah. bigger. Yeah, the cool like a idea, thing. poorly executed though. Yes, Mothim on the other hand though is better because it's completely different. Yeah. Okay. So my number four is Darmanitan. Hmm. Which, I don't, I, its base form is alright, it's not anything great, but its ability, Zen Mode, that is one of the, one of my favourite abilities, because it just looks so, it's just one of those abilities that I've been wanting for a while, like, um, like Blaze and, o and Overground and all that, where if you get low on HP, it uh, gives you a stab boost or something, kind of, uh, um, it just allows you to get really creative with this Pokemon. Mm. I honestly think that Zen Mode Damanitan kind of fell flat for me. Yeah, I, I'm not saying it could have it, it could have been better, but it is just unique and creative and executed not terribly. Just no, that's true. Um. So yeah. Your number four is Cricketune. Delivery whoop! Yes, I love the cry mostly because of I love I love Cricketune mostly because of its cry. Yeah. And the fact that it's just a meme in general. Yeah. Cricketune is just the, one of the biggest memes in Gen Four, mm. and it's amazing. Yeah. Um. Number three. Golurk. Now, the 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 top three is probably you you'll probably be able to 
guess these because these are fairly predictable for me, but number three is Golurk because ghost type and while outside the trick room it is pretty much useless. One of my favourite teams to build around is trick room and it is quite good in trick room so yeah I, I like to have I like to build whenever I'm building a trick room team you can bet I'm gonna probably have goal like in there somewhere right my number three is one of the ones that I'm not sure if you're gonna guess but mm. Cherim oh Cherim the, ca the little cannibal guy Cherim is like it's so overlooked but it's so cute. Yeah. And the, it's just like you don't you never see anybody ever talk about Cherim. Yeah. And Cherubi is cute as well, but it's the sunny mm. form of Cherim is just so cute. Yeah. It's like it's adorable. I love it. Yeah. Um my number two is Cofagrigus. Um it's a bulky ghost type which works well in trick room. I can even set up trick room and it uh, um, works well outside the trick room because of its bulkiness. Um and it uh, can even set up to get a sweep. And if you and if you name it Cof if you name a Cofagrigus Cofagrigus, you can't do that because it has a weird flag in it. That was only in Gen 5, though. They fixed that in Gen 6. Yeah, I, I just found that really funny. Like, his own two... name was banned. Mm. My number two is pretty expected from me. Jan Mega. Yeah. It's got an amazing design for one of the new evolutions. It's yeah. Yes, it should have been Dragon-type, but being flying type doesn't hinder it in any way. Yeah, um... And Yanma's just one of the cutest things in existence. Yeah. Why you, they could implement a third evolution and make that Bug Dragon. Mm, could do. Um, number one for me is Chandelure. Ghost type, fast sweeper and can even set up Trick Room. I do love Chandelure. It, it, it's so good for a while I even thought it was a Gen 4 Pokemon because my mind couldn't cos possibly comprehend this generation popping out such a good Pokemon. Mm. Chandelure was good. Yeah. Now, my number one. It's kind of unexpected, but kind of expected at the same time. Yeah. Skunk Tank. Skunk Tank, yeah. Um, I'm not sure why I love Skontank, but I just think it's really cool. Mm. And typing is like really good. Dark Poison is like only weak to ground. Yeah. And then again, it's like it's so good. And maybe it's because I used it as part of my Ultra Sun, t Ultra Moon team, but I just think Skontank's really cool, and a lot of people hate it for no reason. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's our top 10 favourite Pokemon. And uh, yeah, that I've, I, did, do you, uh, did I have any Pokemon on my list that you thought uh, that you didn't expect? What about mine? I didn't expect Sherem Sh and... No, really it's Kung Tank, really. I mean, I expected a bomber snow. Yeah. Yeah, but I, did I surprise you with any? Um. Genesect, I think, surprised me a little bit. Yeah. Again, um, if Victini had better, like, movie rep representation, because Genesect wasn't the best Gen 5 movie, which was okay. Um. Nothing great, but. You know, if if Victini had a good movie and you could have, you could reliably get its signature move, then it would have probably knocked Genesect off the tenth spot. But it just 
the movie and the lack of its signature move just held it back. Yeah. See, that's why I don't like Pokemon such as Darkrai. Because I honestly found Darkrai's movie to be boring as sin. I will somewhat agree with, agree with you there. It, it was boring up until Dialga and Palkia got involved. Yes. Up until then, it was just like nothing's really happening, and yeah. Darkrai is just there trying to be creepy, and it's not working. Yeah. I mean, so how could you complain about the god of space and the god of time fighting it out with the god of nightmares trying to break them up? Yeah. Darkrai just never made an uh, like gave an effect to me. It was just apart like, from those legs. He was the legs are the legs are creepy. Yes. Yeah. Other and than that, he, that, those legs are the thing of nightmares. Other than that, he's just there, so he doesn't really do anything. Yeah. So that's why I don't really have anything like that on my list. Ah, oh, here's a theory. All of Dark Eye's nightmares, they're just him going down a catwalk with those legs. Oh god, no. But hey, that's just a theory. A GAME THEORY! Oh god, no, don't. <laughs> oh, Quags, I'm imagining it now. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Gen 4 movies just didn't click with me, so... That's I like how they were all in their own little separate timeline. That makes it easier for the writers to not ever think up with the main, you know, timeline of the regular anime. Yeah. I mean... The legendaries are cool, yes, but they're not exactly, like, so amazing. I think the weakest one was the Arceus movie. Yeah, Arceus was just... For a Pokemon that's meant to be a god, he didn't exactly do much. Yeah, and he was stopped by metal, liquid metal. Exactly. Couldn't he just turn to fire and just melt all the metal? I don't know. Anyway, um, we're not doing a movie review here. We're, we were doing a top ten, and we finished our top ten. So, tell us what you think. What is your top ten of your least favorite generation? Um, and here, here's something I was thinking. Uh, maybe we could do our top ten least favorite Pokemon of our least favorite generation. That's an interesting idea. Yeah, because you know. Uh, the generation is most of its Pokemon, so and it'll give, give us a chance to vent about what we don't like about the Pokemon from each generation. Anyway, um, we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye. I almost hung up the call then, just instinctively pressing the stop button to stop the call. But we're not. I'm not in OBS. I almost ended the call. Oh god. Anyway, see you guys in the next video. Bye bye. Bye.